What kind of gear do you think went into this shot? I'll give you a hint. It fit in just one box. That tracking shot you just saw was the product of the DJI Ronin M, and it was shot on the Canon C100 Mark II. Now, no matter your profession, whether you're an aspiring indie filmmaker or a seasoned wedding videographer, you're always trying to maximize your gear, getting the most out of your kit. Trust me, I say this from experience, the options can be overwhelming. Canon's new C100 Mark II wedding documentary kit combines several parts that either work together or are separate parts of your kit. Now, the C100 Mark II is great for dock work because it's more like a self-contained C300. It has XLR connections, EF lens compatibility, and log recording, all in a much smaller form factor. Combine that with the DJI Ronin M, and now you're able to get tracking shots, sweeping wide shots. You have a steady replacement for any handheld shot. The kit comes with the C100 Mark II, the Ronin M, and the Sennheiser AVX wireless lav mic system. Now, it doesn't come with lenses, however, that's where the custom cut carrying case comes in. Let's say you're just starting out in video work or you're transitioning to a new setup. This is a great starting point because you can use your existing glass if you're a DSLR shooter or you can invest in a whole new set and the kit will grow with you. Throw in a tripod and you can get almost any shot you need for wedding or dock work. Of course, the real treat here is the Ronin, but it takes a few steps to set up and some considerations before going into it. So let's get started. Set up the stand and rest the Ronin unit on top. Attach the mounting plate to the camera and slide it into the Ronin's mounting block. Due to the nature of gimbal systems, make sure to remove the top handle of the C100 Mark II before placing it on the Ronin. The camera will require some adjustments once we attach a lens. Now, gimbal systems excel at wider angle shots. Telephoto lenses can be too front heavy to really work on a gimbal setup and zooms even more so. You should plan your shots around wide to normal focal lengths. For these shots, we're using a 24 mm and 35 mm prime lens, which fit the Super 35 sensor nicely and don't add a lot of weight to the camera. Balance the system by adjusting the rods on all sides until the camera stays roughly centered when it's on the stand. Now, turn the unit on and you'll feel the Ronin center the camera. Lift the gimbal off the stand, and you're good to go. Next up in the kit is the Sennheiser AVX wireless lav microphone system. Now, wireless lavs are pretty standard in wedding and dock fare. They allow you to move around without having to tether yourself to the subjects. So a wireless lav is absolutely necessary for this kind of work. Now, the XLR connections on the C100 Mark II are actually integrated with the top handle, and the top handle has to come off to use the Ronin M. So the AVX unit can't be used with the Ronin. You're best off using the Ronin in MOS shots. Nevertheless, an included lav mic is a huge deal if you're just starting to build your own gear. If you want to learn more about the Sennheiser AVX unit itself, check out our video where we have recorded samples with the AVX. Putting together your own kit for the first time to shoot video is an enormous investment on multiple levels. The Canon C100 Mark II wedding documentary kit provides a great foundation to build out your kit even more. Throw in a tripod, a couple of lenses, and you're ready to shoot an enormous range of video. From B&H, my name is Doug. Thanks for watching.